extensive pseudo exfoliation along with cataract borderline glaucoma through the limbus and corneal stroma a tunnel is created visco is filled into the artery chamber rexis is performed using cystitome which enters the chamber at the limbus I am not passing through the length of the tunnel. I have perforated the floor of the tunnel through the tip of the cystitome so that I enter the chamber through a truly tiny point. Advantages are the chamber is kept deep throughout. There is no visco leak that usually happens otherwise through the tunnel. Deep chamber facilitates absolute control while you are doing the rexis. Tunnel is enlarged with a blunt keratome. One percent lignocaine on the surface of iris, and the same can be used to do a hydrodissection. I have been very careful because I know the zonules are weak and the capsule could get perforated or damaged. I rotate the nucleus very carefully and by manually with two instruments, a since cube in my left hand and a candle in my right hand. It's a 25 gauge candle that I'm going to use to bisect the nucleus into two in the antechamber while the candle is continuously infusing dispersive visco. This protects the endothelium as the nucleus is moved in the antechamber. I am continuously injecting visco even now. Support the hemi-nucleus with a microvectus and inject visco, pressurize the chamber and draw the nuclear piece out. So this is safest to the endothelium. The pressure throughout the surgery is normal atmospheric or little on higher side it's never high beyond 20 or 22 millimeters of mercury at any point of time cortex is aspirated with straight simco cannula as well as j-shaped simco cannulas it's a direct tunnel without raising a congenital flap so it heals extremely well because the strip of conjunctiva is taken along with the uh, limbus and the cornea in the tunnel formation. J-shaped cannula to the left side completes the cortical aspiration. The cells on the back of the anterior capsule can be polished. The endothelial damage is least in this technique. There is a single port and uh, it does not need a side port. The instruments that are needed are few and can be easily cleaned, thoroughly autoclaved and uh, there is no need to use any gadget or any instrument without proper sterilization. It is extremely uh, quick, the results are very uh, gratifying and uh, the, there is no need to bandage done under topical anesthesia. The lens is centered and I usually position it in the horizontal axis so that this photopsy is minimized. The visco behind the lens in the capsular bag is completely aspirated and irrigated. Angle is irrigated to remove this possible pseudo exfoliation material which, is which will be stuck there, blocked in the angle region. Remove all the visco from the anterior chamber, especially the one which is stuck on the back of the cornea by reverse irrigation from the aspiration port. Thank you.